Okay, guys, evidently in this year's crossover, we jump into many things, including the time flux. You know, it moves to 2019, the fall of 2019. A lot of things are changed now. And one thing I'm going to be going over is The Flash's Legacy. The Flash's Legacy with the Crisis comic book. The Crisis In the Crisis comic book, The Flash sacrifices himself for the all of the multiverse after some die uh, with a lot of help of different superheroes and so forth and so on. So a lot of that stuff goes on in this, this Crisis comic. So you'll see a number of that uh, in the Crisis comic, which I just popped on the screen right now. Um, so none of that goes on. Now, what I am confused about is what will happen to The Flash in this year's CW crossover. A lot of things were said to happen. Um, for instance, the Monitor coming to uh, Arrow's or Oliver Queen's house after he's already left Star City. And he's with his baby and Felicity. And he says, uh, he watched you die and stuff like that. And then in last year's uh, crossover with Elseworlds, he wanted to save Barry and... Uh, Kara, but he had to sacrifice himself to do so, and in imminent crisis or so, something like that. And so a lot of things go on. But one thing I'm confused about was what will happen to the Flash. It was known that the Flash was supposed to be disappearing in this crisis, but we all knew that Nora coming back from the uh, from time, coming back in time, has changed that uh, future for her, uh, for him, of course, and. Uh, so, and everyone has always assumed that, back from season one, in the crisis, if you read the little article on the side, it says, uh, the reverse Flash and Flash run into, it's like people see like a bolt of lightning and stuff like that, and they're in a street race with the help of Hawkgirl, uh, the Atom, and the Black Canary, um, and then he, they just disappear into a flash of light and everyone's always assumed that uh he went back in time to the night his mother was killed stopped reverse flash from killing his younger self stopped the little bit older barry but younger barry from trying to change that uh for that uh uh what's what is it called i it will come back to me but yeah so um singularity singularity yeah so a lot of that was believed to go on but um it, it never really went on. So that's that's the big question. What really goes on in this year's crisis? What happens to Flash? Where does he go? What does he do? How does he stop the reverse Flash from killing his younger self? Does that even happen in the series? And it should happen because, it, you know, it's, it, they said it was a fixed point in time. So at some point in the series, it was going to happen. And everyone always assumed that it was that time, including myself, which everyone was hoping it was that time because, it, you know, it's it just seems like the like the right time. It didn't seem like anything else. And then after the Flash saves the younger self, he just disappears. Uh, the reverse Flash just uh, fizzles like he's stuck there and so forth and so on. And that's probably why the Flash doesn't come back. So... I'm, I'm curious to see what's going on. This article you see here, it says, Arrow missing vanishes in crisis. This could definitely be a Photoshop. It probably is. And if it isn't, this is, this is strange. This is uh, this is strange. Um, because, I mean, it's supposed to be Flash in that. And then Flash is supposed to disappear. We all know that Arrow's going to die. But we also know that Flash won't die because this isn't his last season. Which I was hoping this was going to be his last season. I was hoping this was going to be all the CW show season, or at least just Flash. And uh, everyone expected Arrow to end because Steven Amell wants to be with his family. But yeah, everyone expected for it to end. And we we're hoping that it was going to be the Flash because the Flash with the crisis actually makes sense because we all thought after the crisis, Flash was done. But of course, they're not. he's not going to be done. And in this couple of shots you see here from the trailer, uh, the DC TV uh, Comic Con panel trailer. Uh, you see him talking, saying, "What can I do?" Uh, and he's he's probably talking to the monitor. He probably is talking to the monitor, and and he's like, "Monitor probably gave him the same message that he gave to Oliver, but one of them is going to die, and we all know that it will be the Flash." So that is the big question: What happens? Also, in Flash Season 6, uh, they lean towards uh, the original Barry from the original timeline and from the comics and so forth and so on. 
So you'll see more of the, that kind of berry. Um, you see more of that kind of stuff in this year's cross, on this year's uh, season and the crossover. And also you'll see the follow after the crossover. And you'll see how Nora and Barry, Barry and Iris grieve over Nora's death, which Nora could could be coming back. You never know. Nora could be re coming to uh, <laughs> come back to uh, the show. She, you never know, and could potentially uh, Barry can potentially get Iris pregnant, and then start off uh, you know having you know with Nora and probably be a father to her this time around, and all that could change. You know her coming back in time. Her racing from existence because she came back to stop the kid, which we all know that's why uh, the time flux changed, which makes sense for the crisis to be emanating now instead of 2024. In the original timeline, uh, Flash became Flash 2020, and then four years later uh, was the crisis, and then the, uh, the crisis that's when Barry disappears instead of the Green Arrow. Green Arrow didn't have much to do with it. Also, guys, everyone's getting hyped over Brandon Routh as Superman, which I am too. Uh, it's said that he's supposed to be the uh, sort of Kingdom Come Superman, the oldest Superman from another universe. Uh, the DC uh, Legends of Tomorrow won't be airing till uh, January uh, 2020, and uh, so you won't really see the Adam in the crossover. So that it, it's different now the, through the time flux. It used to be. Arrow, uh, Arrow, Hawk Girl, Black Canary, and the Atom. Now it's just Black Woman, Supergirl, Green Arrow, and uh, and yeah. So that's that's mainly it um, for them. So a lot of things have changed over this time flex. I'm I'm really curious to see how this goes. I mean, it, this might be the biggest DC TV show, TV thing that they have ever done over like anything really, especially on a weekly budget on a TV show. Um, so yeah guys, that was really it, I, all I had to say about today's video, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, if you did drop a like down below if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content, I will be trying to do more videos like this one, I'll probably be uploading a video, uh, it, it depends, it, it, it will probably come out before this video, come out after this video, but it's a Minecraft video, uh, how to build, um, so I'm not sure yet, but, uh, but yeah guys, so that was for me, I am BOG. Or better, Gotham. Peace out, and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.